Did you know the foods you eat can impact your heart's health? Did you know that heart disease is the leading cause of death globally? But here's the good news. You have the power to change that. Are you ready to take the first step toward a healthier heart? Join me on today's episode as we unravel the secrets to protecting your heart with the right nutrition and discover how simple dietary changes can make a profound difference in your heart health. Welcome to the Sparkling Life Coach Podcast. Welcome, Sparkling One, to today's discussion on nutrition for heart health. I'm Dee Diaz, your integrative nutrition health coach and host, and I'm thrilled to share some valuable insight on how the right foods can serve as powerful allies in safeguarding our hearts. So grab your favorite smoothie or healthy snack, and let's embark on this journey together. Before we delve into the nitty-gritty of heart-healthy nutrition, let's take a moment to understand why it's so crucial. Our hearts are the epicenter of our well-being, tirelessly pumping life-giving blood throughout our bodies, ensuring every cell gets the nourishment it needs. But in today's fast-paced world, our hearts face an unprecedented challenge from stress to poor dietary choices. That's where our knowledge and proactive steps toward heart-healthy nutrition come in. Did you know, according to the World Health Organization, heart disease is the leading cause of death globally, accounting for nearly 32% of all fatalities? It's a staggering statistic. The really sad part? is that it's been the leading cause of death in the United States since the 1950s. So even with all we know about nutrition, health and wellness, even with all the scientific improvements we've made throughout the years, heart disease is still the cause of one in five deaths or over 700,000 people. And that's just in the United States. But there is a silver lining. When we make informed dietary decisions, we can significantly reduce our risk of heart disease. Let's break it down. Imagine your heart as a well-oiled machine, tirelessly working day in and day out. Just like any machine, it requires the right fuel to function optimally, right? That's where our food choices come into play. So. Let's start with the basics. What exactly constitutes heart-healthy nutrition? Well, it's all about loading up on nutrient-dense foods that nourish our heart from the inside out. But what does that even mean? So think about colorful fruits and veggies rich in antioxidants that combat harmful free radicals and inflammation. Antioxidants are molecules that inhibit, combat, or neutralize harmful free radicals, which are unstable molecules that can harm your cells and cause inflammation. Your heart is a vital organ that deserves extra care. Incorporating nutrient-rich foods like leafy greens, berries, and fatty fish can significantly benefit your heart health. Also important are omega-3 fatty acids and essential vitamins. Studies show that diets high in fruits and vegetables can reduce the risk of heart disease by up to 20%. Now, that's food for thought, isn't it? Let's talk about fats and oils. Ah, fats, the infamous villains of the nutrition world. Yeah, no. (laughs) Here's the truth. Not all fats are created equal. We definitely want to stay away from saturated fats. 
Saturated fat is a type of fat that remains solid at room temperature, such as butter, which is about 60 to 70 percent of its fat content is saturated fat. It's also found in fatty cuts of meat, such as beef and pork, processed meats, such as sausage, bacon, hot dogs, and deli meats are also commonly known for being high in saturated fat. However, incorporating healthy fats like those found in olive oil, avocados, nuts can promote heart health. And for those of you who don't follow a vegetarian or vegan lifestyle, it would also include lean protein and fatty fish. These fats help to lower bad cholesterol levels, reducing the risk of plaque buildup in your arteries and ultimately reducing the risk of heart disease. It's all about striking uh, that delicate balance and embracing fats as an essential component of a balanced diet. So let's talk about the role of fiber. Fiber plays a pivotal role in maintaining heart health. Foods like whole grains, legumes, and vegetables are rich in fiber, aiding in reducing cholesterol levels and promoting a healthy heart. For someone that's healing from cardiovascular disease, incorporating heart-healthy foods into their diet is crucial for supporting their recovery and overall heart health. So here are 10 good foods to add to your diet. First on the list is fatty fish. Rich in omega-3 fatty acids, fatty fish like salmon, mackerel, trout, and sardines can help lower triglycerides, reduce inflammation, and improve overall heart health. Aim for at least two servings of fatty fish per week. Second on the list are leafy green. Leafy green vegetables such as spinach, kale, Swiss chard, and collard greens are packed with vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants that support heart health. They are also low in calories and high in fiber, which can help lower cholesterol levels and maintain a healthy weight. Third on the list are berries, like strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, and blackberries are all rich in antioxidants called flavonoids, which have been linked to a reduced risk of heart disease. They're also high in fiber and low in calories, making them an excellent choice for heart health. Fourth on the list are whole grains. When you incorporate whole grains such as oats, quinoa, brown rice, barley, and whole wheat into your diet, these whole grains are high in fiber, which can help lower cholesterol levels and reduce the risk of heart disease. Fifth on the list are nuts and seeds. So almonds, walnuts, pistachios, flax seeds, chia seeds, and hemp seeds are excellent sources of heart-healthy fats, fiber, and protein. They can help lower bad cholesterol levels and reduce inflammation in the body when consumed in moderation. Six on the list are avocados, my personal favorites. Avocados are rich in monounsaturated fats, which can help lower bad cholesterol levels and improve heart health. They're also a good source of potassium, which helps regulate blood pressure. Seventh on the list are legumes. So beans, lentils, chickpeas, and peas are high in fiber, protein, and various nutrients that support heart health. They can help lower cholesterol levels, regulate blood sugar levels, and promote healthy weight. Eighth on the list is olive oil. If we replace unhealthy fats with heart-healthy olive oil, which is rich in monounsaturated fats and antioxidants, we can use 
olive oil for cooking, salad dressing, and marinades to support heart health. Number nine on the list are tomatoes. Tomatoes are an excellent source of lycopene, a powerful antioxidant that may help reduce the risk of heart disease. You can enjoy tomatoes in fresh salads, cooked in sauces, or as a snack. And number 10 on the list is dark chocolate. As you can indulge in small amounts of dark chocolate with at least 70% of cocoa content as a heart healthy treat. Dark chocolate is rich in antioxidants called flavonoids, which may improve heart health by lowering blood pressure and improving blood flow. In addition to incorporating these heart healthy foods into their diet, it's essential for individuals healing from cardiovascular disease to maintain a balanced diet, stay hydrated, limit sodium and sugar intake, and avoid processed and fried foods. Don't forget to always consult with a healthcare professional or a registered dietitian for personalized dietary recommendations based on your individual health needs and medical history. Now, let's talk about what you should limit. Excessive sodium can increase blood pressure, straining your heart. Be mindful of processed and packaged foods, which often contain high levels of sodium, such as processed deli meats. Read your labels. You will be shocked to see the sodium levels on most of the packaged foods you consume. I know I was. Instead, opt for fresh homemade meals because then you can control your sodium intake. What about sugar? How harmful is refined sugar? The effects of added sugar intake is higher blood pressure, inflammation, weight gain, diabetes, and fatty liver disease. They're all linked to increased risk of heart attack and stroke. So sugar not only increases the risk of premature heart disease and stroke, but it can also reduce life expectancy. The problem with sugar begins when people start to consume large amounts, which isn't difficult because it's so addictive especially sugar that is refined and added to enhance the flavor of food. Like sodium, check your labels. You will be shocked at how many packaged foods we may be eating throughout the day that are chock full of added sugar. Last but certainly not least, although we're talking nutrition in this episode, I also want to address a few additional ways in which we can nourish our heart that encompass the physical, emotional, and spiritual aspects. Because all of them play a role in preventing and healing from cardiovascular disease. Let's start by addressing stress. Chronic stress can impact heart health and contribute to heart disease. So finding healthy coping mechanisms is essential. So incorporate stress relieving activities like prayer and meditation. Some people like breath work, mindfulness exercises like yoga and qigong, or even spending time with loved ones. As we cultivate positive relationships and surround ourselves with supportive and loving relationships, these strong social connections and emotional support can reduce feelings of loneliness and stress, and that's going to benefit our heart health. We also want to make sure that we're expressing gratitude, cultivating an attitude of gratitude by regularly acknowledging and appreciating the blessings in our life can help our heart. Research suggests that gratitude practices can improve overall well-being, including heart health. And spiritual nourishment, of course, we don't want to forget the importance of nourishing our spirit. We can do that by connecting with nature, 
spend time in nature, whether it's going for a walk in the park, hiking in the mountains, or simply sitting outside and soaking in the beauty around you. We can practice earthing, which is grounding into nature by connecting the soles of our feet to the earth. This can have a calming effect on the mind and the spirit. We can also practice mindfulness and meditation, engaging in spiritual practices such as prayer meditation, as I mentioned, or reflection to foster a sense of inner peace and connection to something greater than yourself. These practices can help reduce stress and promote overall well-being. We also want to be living with purpose. When we discover and nurture our sense of purpose in life and engage in activities that bring us joy, fulfillment, and a sense of meaning, then having that sense of purpose can positively impact mental, emotional, and physical health, including heart health. Our emotional well-being profoundly influences our heart's health. In addition, it's important to have regular exercise. You knew that was coming, didn't you? Yes, engaging in physical activity regularly is important. Aiming for at least 150 minutes of moderate intensity exercise per week. That's just two and a half hours a week, so not really hard. These would include exercises like walking, jogging, swimming, or cycling to strengthen the heart and improve overall cardiovascular health. We also want to make sure that we're maintaining a healthy weight. It's important to strive to achieve and maintain a healthy weight through a combination of nutritious eating and regular exercise. Excess weight puts additional strain on the heart and increases the risk of cardiovascular disease. We also want to manage our blood pressure and cholesterol. So make sure that you're monitoring and managing your blood pressure and cholesterol levels regularly and take steps to keep them within the healthy ranges through some of the lifestyle modifications mentioned. And make sure you're getting regular checkups. Our goal is always to prepare and prevent so we don't have to repair and repent and end up having to be on medications. Let's not wait until there's a health crisis before we take preventative measures. By addressing the physical, emotional, and spiritual aspects of nourishment, you can take a holistic approach to caring for your health and promoting cardiovascular health. It's essential to find a balance that works for you and incorporate these practices into your daily life for long-term heart health and well-being. And there you have it, Sparkling One, a whirlwind tour of the fascinating world of nutrition for heart health. Adopting a heart-healthy diet and lifestyle choices can significantly enhance your heart's well-being. So we've learned that it's not just about eating right. It's about nurturing your overall wellness. But remember, knowledge alone isn't enough. It's our actions that truly make a difference. So I challenge you to take one small step starting today toward prioritizing your heart health, whether it's swapping out processed snacks for fresh fruits or adding an extra serving of veggies to your plate, every choice you make counts. And to get you started, please check the show notes. I have a yummy, heart-healthy green smoothie recipe for you packed with nutritious ingredients to support cardiovascular health. I hope you'll let me know what you think of the recipe. And let's continue the discussion on the podcast Facebook group. Also, don't forget to hit subscribe 
and turn on notifications so you never miss an episode. Well, sparkling one, I hope this episode has inspired you and empowered you to prioritize your health like never before. So we can nurture our hearts and live our most vibrant, sparkling lives. Until next time, stay radiant, stay inspired, and keep shining bright. Because your life should sparkle. It should be exhilarating, energized, and filled with that effervescent sizzle that propels you through a brilliant, vivacious life. And we can fire that spark with integrative health and wellness, nutrition, and essential oils. Sparkle on and don't forget to sprinkle a little sparkle everywhere you go. Ciao. How often do you feel your best? At doTERRA, we believe that everyone deserves to feel their best. That's why we created the doTERRA Lifelong Vitality Pack. Alpha CRS Plus, XE Omega, and Microplex VMZ. The Alpha CRS Plus Cellular Energy Blend facilitates the production of energy when cofactors CoQ10, alpha lipoic acid, and ginkgo biloba leaf extract transport electrons to promote the creation of ATP, what the body uses as fuel. The active compounds in the XE Omega formula support a healthy cellular inflammatory response through a positive cascade within the cell and surrounding tissues that blocks the production of prostaglandins, which the body recognizes as discomfort. Microplex VMZ is a formula of vitamins and minerals that are commonly deficient in modern diets. The formula includes a balanced blend of antioxidant vitamins A, C, and E, as well as an energy complex of B vitamins. Discover for yourself why millions have made the Lifelong Vitality Pack an essential part of their healthy lifestyle. Your health is an important investment, but with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose in trying these amazing vitamins. They're what my family and I use. Remember, the foundation for wellness is nutrition and digestive health. If you want to be the healthiest version of yourself, the best way to take charge of your wellness is by building healthy habits. So get started today and make supplementation part of your routine. I'll make sure to leave you my affiliate link in the show notes that'll unlock 25% off on all products ordered for a year. Okay, now let's get back to the episode.